This month, all Loop Cloud users get a free copy of Softube's VCA compressor. Let's check it out. It's all just a cliche. Hope you'll find the fame. It's all just a cliche. Softube's VCA compressor is based on the legendary DBX160 and it allows you to achieve super transparent and analog sounding compression with ease. So let's dive in. If you've ever used a compressor before, then this should all be fairly familiar for you. You've got your threshold control, ratio, attack and release. I really like the way they've labeled less and more on the threshold control. So if you're new to compression, that could be a really handy way to explain the controls a bit more easily. There are some slightly more interesting features over here on the right and we'll get into those later. But for now, let's just have a quick listen to this drum bus compression I've got going on. And with it bypassed. So you can hear I've got some quite gentle settings on it right now just to glue everything together. But if we yank up the threshold a little, things get extreme quite quickly. So yeah, obviously I'm over compressing quite a lot there, but what's really good is you have this dry wet knob in the corner. So if you wanted to do some parallel compression, you can have the settings quite extreme and then just dial the mix back a little. So I've dialed everything back a little now and we can start moving over to the right. Let's start with the high frequency makeup control. This is used to reintroduce some of the high frequencies that are often lost to compression. Next up we have the stereo link control. This either allows you to compress the signal as a whole in stereo or to do the left and right channels separately in dual mono. Next up we have the punch control. This just gives a little boost to the highs and mids and just gives it a punchier sound. We also have the sidechain filter here. This just makes the compressor less sensitive to any frequencies below the cutoff point that you set. So you can see now it's set to 450 hertz. The kick isn't triggering any compression at all. Whereas if I set it back to zero, you can see the kick is still triggering compression. So if we move over to our vocal channel, you can hear that it's super transparent. It's all just a cliche. No money in the game. It's all just a cliche. So you can hear that even when the compressor's working quite hard, as you could see there from the VU meters, it doesn't sound like it. It's super transparent. Because it's so invisible to the ears, it just saves you a bunch of time doing gain automation because you can put on some quite extreme controls and it sounds super tame. We've also got this output drive control for things like vocals, basses, any melodic instruments, it sounds great. It's all just a cliche. No money in the game. That just adds a little bit of that analog character with some drive. You also have these controls in the top right so you can uh, drive your input and output signal a little. It's all just a cliche. No money in the game, it's all just a cliche. We also have this bottom panel here which allows you to set your headroom. It's all just a cliche. No money in the game. And your high pass settings. Also, if you need to play around with phase inversion, you can do this in the bottom right here too. So similarly to the vocal, on this trombone, I'm just doing some peak reduction to reduce the dynamic range. I've also level matched it, so you can see with the compression bypassed. It's coming in about minus 13.6. Now if I turn the compression on, So you can really hear when this peak happens, it just squishes the level and allows us to boost the rest of the trombone part along with it. So that's Softube's VCA compressor. And if you like the track, all of the parts and more will be included in Soul Lounge, which is a sample pack out on the 11th of April on Loop Masters and Loop Cloud. So save the date, or if it's past the 11th already, then check the link in the description and it will be live. So see you in the next one.